Joined by Xavier Ellis here at Optus Stadium. Zaves, you've come to us with no context this afternoon. We've just dropped the bombshell on you. We're here to get the Xavier Ellis best 22 of the guys you've played with at Hawthorne and West Coast. How do you reckon you'll go? I've just cast my eye over some of the Hawthorne names that I've forgotten about. So there's some, uh, some champions in both sides. Um, one side have won probably four premierships and then there's one there that have won one. So uh, unfortunately for West Coast supporters, hopefully there's not too much brown up there today, but there's some good players. Could be a little lopsided. Now you've obviously quite good friends still with a bunch of the boys that yeah, are on the, the page right now. Are they going to be offended if they miss out on the team, do you think? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. No, because you think, think about like, in Campbell Brown's mind, he probably thinks he's the best player of the lot. But I didn't reckon he's going to be on the team. So <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's going to be interesting. Of course, it's not a Xavier Ellis best 22 without Xavier Ellis, but you've got to put the best version of yourself up there as well, X-Man. Are you going to go with the Hawthorne version or the West Coast version? Um, well, that was the skinny version. <laughs> and that was the fat version. Uh, I think eight years at Hawthorne, um, I might... Uh, Put the Hawthorne version in. We'll get myself there on the bench. Who's going to be the first up on the board? Who's the easiest to pick to find their way straight up on uh, the board? The easiest by a million miles. Uh, my absolute favourite player of all time. And I think the best player of their generation. I think he's got the ablets of the world covered. The big boy, Lance Buddy Franklin, uh, full forward. Uh, West Coast fans will be happy. Nick Natanui will be the starting ruckman. Um, gee whiz, West Coast need him back. The Frenchman um, lift the looks of the side a little bit. I think four years in a row he told me he was voted the sexiest footballer in the competition. So, Martin McCraft can slot into a forward pocket. It's hard to, it's hard to pick one. If I was, had my hands tied up and I needed one small forward, I had to choose one. I honestly think Martin McCraft was something special. Best midfielder and toughest player ever played with, Sam Mitchell. Uh, obviously West Coast as well, so there you go. Now, Brownlow medalist, another one, uh, Matt Prittis. Their careers have just almost mirrored each other. Uh, unfortunately, Prittis didn't get the premiership, but through the state leagues, Brownlow, tough inside player. Now, I don't know if this is controversial or not, but uh, Hodgie's not going to the midfield. He's, that was old Hodgie, so Hodgie can go on the half back line. Actually, no, bugger him, he stole my North Smith. Back pocket. back pocket, into the back pocket. He can go in the back pocket just because it's Hodgy. <laughs> Jordan North's surrounded games. No West Coast player's ever done that. Um, Champion. So Louis can get on the wing. Shuey Jew, just so I'm not the fattest bloke in the team. <laughs> so Jew is in. Pretty easy one. Jerry McGovern, uh, sort of changing the game, I reckon. Now, he, uh, Shane Crawford, another Brownlow medalist, what's that, three now? He, actually, if you look at the team sheet in 2008, Croft's named on the wing, I believe. Just for all the history that Croft was named on the wing, but he actually started on the bench. Shannon Hearn, another premiership captain. One of the funnier guys in terms of his dry sense of humour. Um, never been outside the country, doesn't have a passport. I don't think he believes in banks. So if something happens, I'm going to his joint and I'm digging up his backyard because there Look might out. be some cash there. I'm really leaving that rough head Kennedy debate for very late in the piece. Oh, Andrew Gaff, just a good wingman. Guy that's working at West Coast, one of the most underrated players I've ever played. I think Clarko nominated, nominated him as the most underrated player he'd ever coached. So wow. uh, West Coast have got a ripper in Chance Bateman. Uh, Campbell Brown grabbed me day one of pre-season 2008 and said, you drink when I drink, you go out when I go out, you train when I train, uh, you sleep when I sleep. Really laid the law down to him. You know, all credit to him why I've got fit, to be honest with you. Josh Gibson, probably Will Schofield. Um, mates with Will Schofield, so he won't mind me saying this. I think Gibbo, Gibbo Phenomenal. takes it. I think the band, the Pussycat Dolls or something, <laughs> you might've been hanging around them or say. Uh, record oh, speaks boy. for itself. I'm just gonna do it. Uh, Josh Kennedy, I was going to make a little change. The tweak, I like it. So, uh, he can play a little bit higher. I Fair might enough. have copped out there, but... No, it's a good move. Good friend, uh, Luke Shuey. Gee, there's still some yeah, excellent players sitting on this table right here, X-Men. I'm just going to get it done. 
Uh, Jared Ruffhead, by far, it's it's something like that. Um, but Ruffy uh, would be selected top five players, probably on the board. But sure. yeah, great to have him in. I think I'm going to pull the trigger on that one. Brad Sewell, Elliot Yo, two best and fairest, two best and fairest. Elliot Yo, I think he's not far from going into the Fife danger field if he's not there already. Um, Top liners. That category, he's absolute megastar. What have I got? One spot left. One spot left on Half the back. team. Half back flank. Who's there? Isaac Smith. Isaac Smith. Look, Grant Birchall. Uh, four premierships, haven't seen the best of him the last uh, couple of years. Also another contender on the footy trips, if you win one, might be of value. So there we have it. Now let, we'll give you the last chance uh, for the, the opportunity to have a look and potentially pull a switcheroon. If there's anybody on that in front of you now that you're looking at thinking, geez, they're awfully stiff to miss out on. Well, I think I'm quite content. I used to just be in awe of what these guys could do. but. Uh, Anyway, I think that's a pretty good 22. I agree. Wonderful. Thanks so much for taking the time, X-Man, for joining us no worries, and going mate. through the Xavier Ellis 22.